pals. I'm so excited to get back into this. We are watching Shogun Episode 7, A Stick of Time. Here we go. All right, I guess we'll find out about that half-brother now. I know, right? Well, we'll we'll find out if he's difficult if, or not. Yeah, exactly. You seem to think that he would be. I don't know. I just remember Game of Thrones, and there was a sister character who was oh, that's true, difficult and crazy. Dang. Oh my. Ugh. Oh goodness. Oh my God. Is this a flashback? It might be a flashback. The music is not exactly, like, happy, though. No. First battle. Oh. Holy crap, he was young! 46 years ago? What was he, 10? <laughs> he doesn't look that old. No. Wow, he was just a boy. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> what, that's a great way to put it. Can you imagine seeing that much bloodshed at such a young age? Mm. Oh, wow. oh, no. Is he going to have to chop his head and all that? Seppuku followed by decapitation. I know the show's not about this, but, like, I kind of want to see that battle. <laughs> like, how did it... <laughs> how old is he? <laughs> I would guess... 14? Oh shit. I think you're right. He's gonna have to cut his head off. Is this a test of his manhood? His well, resilience? If he led that battle, which I don't know how the heck, surely this is. You know? Wow. Oh, this is rough. This wouldn't be a, a, a difficult step for him if he just led to that chop battle. A man head off? You just also, saw what happened in the also, battlefield, right? you, you right? want to make sure that you chop it off cleanly. Does he have enough strength to take off a grown man's head from the neck? Well, those swords... Those swords are really sharp. Ooh. If so, he's got some enemies in the afterlife. Eh, yucky ducky. Oh, ah, grody! Oh, I, I did not need all that. Oh. I guess that answered your question, he Kirk. He delivered it swiftly. It sounded like Fruit Ninja. I've heard of executions where maybe you're right. Maybe it is that they had a dull blade or something like that. And they didn't quite get the head off, which is awful for the person who's dying. I just think it, you know. It requires a certain amount of... It's more technique than strength, I imagine. But yeah, he's clearly well-trained. That's the other part of it. Yeah. But I want to see that battle. <laughs> like, what the heck? We need to see that movie. I feel like we need a prequel to Shogun. It tells us a lot about who he is as a person and Absolutely. as a leader. Oh, dear. Okay, see, that's what I was talking about. Okay, yeah, you might be right. He will not say no. Dang it. Rohan will answer. And Rohan will answer. She like beat him to the punch. I know. She was quick to answer. She's like, I he know. know. He knows. Okay. He knows. I know. He knows. Okay. <laughs> Just leave now. This is really pretty, by the way. Yeah. Is it a hug? Wow. That's a hat. I mean, a. A I'm helmet. Old, yeah, that's that's something. Oh, he looks just like him. Dang. Okay, so we know there's some weird beefy okay. history there. <laughs> He's got his hand <laughs> on that sword. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, he's gotta be giving him shit. Please tell me he's giving him shit. <laughs> he's fascinated by the white guy. Yeah. <laughs> Go with him, maybe. Don't they... forget to bow. <laughs> She's like. She's not gonna translate. Oh boy. Wow. That's some wow. Good, good pronunciation. That's so good. Drinks first. Yeah, tonight we party. Yeah, my kind of guy. Yay. 
No one's cheering. <laughs> I'm so glad they're, they got each other's backs. Yeah. He's not convinced, though. Oh, I guess that's fair. I guess it is Nippon Game of Thrones, right? He's like, something sus. You always just have to keep one eye on your back, you know? Dang. Ah. <laughs> A stick of time? What is a stick of time? Like an hour? Or how do you measure that? <laughs> Everyone is so concerned yeah. about him being a fool and making things worse. I will urge you to be at your best and to please carry your swords as is befitting a Hatamoto. Does this order of Crimson Sky mean that I am to be given... Maritime command during our attack. Oh, that's all he's worried about. He knew what he's asking about. Fair. I suggest you take this no further. She told you. She's got that look in her face yeah. like, bitch, don't. I'm beginning to wonder if these gifts have any bloody meaning at all. <gasps> oh. No. That's just what exactly is. Korten. I urge you to let this go. Yeah, dude. She told you. She's worried about him, too. Yeah. She's just like, come on. You and your big mouth. I'm looking out for you, boo. Please tell him I am ready for whatever our fate may bring. Good answer, I guess. How's he? I don't know how he's taking it. I do feel a lot of empathy for Blackthorn in this situation, though, because he's just being put on hold. Yeah. Repeatedly. He's like, dude, come on. I, I did the thing. Oh, no, she's busy. Oh, wow. No, you cannot. Do you have money? I want Ooh. her. I want that one. <laughs> Why? Oh, oh, my oh my god. We deal in rumors. She's this is the tea house indeed. Spilling all the tea. Ooh, what do we got? Better not be a head in there. Cake. Oh no, the remains? Oh, she knew. Of her oh. husband and her kid. Yeah, you're right. Oh. A little tiny one too. I don't think that's what grandfather wants. Yeah. yeah. It's tough. Survivor's guilt, man. Yeah. That's rough. The show explores that a lot. Oh my goodness. It's got such a romanticiza romanticization yeah. of, with war. He's still a virgin. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> Putting his father on blast. Twelve. Twelve. Dang. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's not happy He's, about this yeah. at all. <laughs> <laughs> the jelly. <笑><笑>顔を握ろうとし勇気を抱こうとする人し。わお。正式に話をしようではないか。泳いではいけませんのか。Oh, okay. <笑> Doesn't it belong to someone else right now? Oh shit, really? But you guys are bros. Come on. Like actual bros. Everybody just wants power. Yeah. 
Wow, they got double crossed. Bring it here. So this guy knew something was up. Yeah. Shit, man. Oh,、okay. oh my god. Oh my god. What a bastard. Wow, that was like the one flare of emotion. Does he have the option to give him this territory? Like, it seems like his brother's just swayed by whatever, wherever he stands to gain、He's、the most. He's ambitious, right? Yeah. So, yeah. It seems like the offer of being regent is probably much better than anything Toronaga could offer him. What happens if he surrenders? Toronaga Sama will be sentenced to death, and half his men will commit separate out of allegiance to him. If you could get me the clearance I need to go aboard, easy dive over the side, check the keel, she'll need careening and scraping. Yabushige's men could help with stepping the spare bowsprit in, in the hold. Myself. He's trying to do things the barbarian way. Yeah. <laughs> There's no running away. That's not honorable. Anything is better than standing here pissing around. Yeah. Fair. Rather die on my feet than on my knees. <laughs> God. He doesn't want to see it. Like, I've seen enough. Dang it. I don't need to take that off. Makes you look at food containers suspiciously. Yeah. He doesn't know the Because, realities、yeah. of war. Because he doesn't know. Yeah. You don't know what you don't know. It's all romanticized. I guess you want to feel some sense of purpose, you know? お偉いとの方の東方もない願いを叶えるにはわしの先行きはカモンメビーナネセサリーメビーシカナイディアウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイ
風に向かって正面をしてるようなもんねじゃん。<笑><笑> He's funny. はい。Okay, maybe. Whoa! Okay, Buntaro. I'll go on then. Might as well be now. Does he just hate him? Or does he know? I don't know. Maybe on some level he knows. Because that information was planted. I don't think she wants to hear this. No. Then why didn't you? You would have gotten killed then. That's a good response. Instead of a pitch. She gave him more than he deserved because he needs to be slapped. I just think he's gonna see war for the first time and then just freeze. He saw what happened after those cannons were launched. Oh, that's true. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Mm. Is this where he confronts his wife? Wow. Yeah, you know something. He's a jerk, but he's not wrong. He knows. Oh. Yeah, using his affection for her against him. Eightfold fence. Her eightfold strength fence is strong. Okay. He's smart. Taranaga reads people quite well. His situation is complicated. The turmoil inside. Be honest. Oh, he wants to know. He wants yeah. to know. He's gonna be like, put that away. Yeah, not today, sister. His responsibilities, exactly. Get that out of my face. <laughs> Heavy lies the crown, man. Yeah. <laughs> What? You're right. Oh my gosh, you're right. That's... Oh my gosh. What did I say? Oh god. Some crazy person, that's who. <laughs> oh my god. Someone who wants to scar a child forever. No wonder it stays with him. Yeah. It's like, this is not amusing. No. Guy. It's awful. He had to hack that guy's head off his body. Oh lord. <sighs> We're going to war. Oh, oh my god. What now? Brother against brother? How do we talk our way out of this? Yeah. He has surrendered. Hold on, not yet. Is Anjin Sama gonna say something? There's gotta be another plan at play. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. What now? The old great warlord, brilliant master of trickery, who tricked his own loyal vassals into a noiseless smothering. Nina Shin, crimson fucking horse shit. Wow. Dang.
Uh -oh. <laughs> Get your clothes on. <laughs> he heard something go down. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants to die naked. <laughs> nope. Nope. At least get your underwear on. Oh, he's about to get executed. I'm not even going to feel any pity for him. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I guess he wasn't scared about killing anybody. You're gonna kill your uncle? Oh my god. Oh, is the son gonna die? He's gonna die. Oh my god. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe not. What are you waiting for? You gonna do it or not? My God! Oh, shit! Are you fucking kidding me? Damn. Silly boy. Oh, shit. Dang. Well, they left us like that. What do you reckon? That changes everything. It's interesting that they left the rain yeah, down. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I'm, they're waiting, like, they're, I'm waiting no, they're for let, something else. It's because they're trying to allow you to like deal with that. <laughs> God. They definitely showed the ugliness of death in this episode. They were kind of setting us up with Toronaga's son and his view of... Death being this beautiful yeah, thing, and then like it turns out to be this really ugly, nasty thing. Exactly. Which is so what the brother was like, yo, I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, and also just like the reality of it, right? Because the legend is that Toronaga was this boy warlord, and he was his enemy's second, and he chopped his head off in one fell swoop. It became and this legendary thing. Exactly, yeah. and the reality is it's not like that. War is not like that. Death is not like that it's not glorious it's it, not beautiful it's, it's ugly. Not. And, it's yeah. gross it's ugly and yeah. it's nasty and so they're about to embark on this journey and now i think with the death of his son i, I would imagine that he's gonna would be motivated change everything yeah yeah he's gonna be enraged there's, yeah yeah there's gonna be a battle now he's gonna have a whole mess of feelings inside of him on his father's on his, on his son's death upon learning about that right right and i think that the next move the, the next obvious move is conflict with his own brother and actually having a fight with him of some kind and re and reneging on what he agreed to. Yeah, maybe. I mean, technically his son was the one who made that decision to go after the uncle. And obviously that's so in line with his character because it was the son who ordered the, the, yeah. the cannons, the guns to go off and kind of got them into that situation in the first place. But it was interesting to me that in that scene at the banquet where he was very resigned to his fate or at least outwardly seemed to be quite cool and collected the only time he lost his cool was when his son was reaching for the order for seppuku and he yelled at him and was like don't you take it and then he like quickly went back yeah. behind his eightfold fence of like I'm fine now. So clearly his son I, is a sensitive spot for I, him. I, I wouldn't call it an eightfold fence. His son <laughs> wears his, whole, um, his no, heart I, on his I'm sleeve. I'm not saying his son did. I'm saying the dad did, Toronaga. Oh, Toronaga, yeah, most yeah. certainly. But I mean, he's been his eightfold fence has been cracking this whole episode because even with Mariko... When she's like here and she offered the knife, he's he get that thing out of my face. Like he he got mad there too. He's been losing his cool in this episode. It's very uncharacteristic of him that we have seen up to now because he's like breaking at he's busting at the seams. His his uh his ability to deal with this situation is is bursting at the seams, right? And so he's gonna have to do something that is not honorable, I guess, in order in order to keep moving forward and protect his people. Because if he gives in all the people loyal to him also die. It's not just his head that's going to be chopped off. Right. The whole crux of the story, right, is leading up to him becoming Shogun. Yeah. Because there was the Taiko before him, and now there's, like, the Taiko's son or whatever. And I don't really understand a lot of the backstory and history, but what I glean from it is that he comes from a line of uh, warriors who were Shogun or like Shogun yeah. and they just kind of gave up that title but now it almost feels like 
fate is conspiring to make him take up that title again, to bring the people together and to save his people. So he's going to have to do the thing that he doesn't want to do. I'm working off the assumption that his son's death is going to motivate him to do a different move than he had planned. Or we are going to learn he had other plans. His son just didn't know about it. The people just didn't know about it. I mean, which wouldn't be out of the in ordinary for him, you know? He's, he's always got extra stuff going on in his mind, extra yeah. plans going on. Like, this is on the surface. This is what everyone is supposed to see. But I actually have this ulterior thing going on or this alternate thing that I, I have ready to go. He had some letter uh, about the courtesans and Edo. It was and his all. will. Every time they're about to go into battle or something, they right. they write a will. Right. So I, well, I don't know what the full details of that will. I just, like... You know, whatever, yeah, whatever well, they clearly, showed. clearly, whatever the courtesan said to him, it struck a chord, and she made enough of an impression that he was like, okay, well, upon my death, she will be given some land for her to do as she pleases. See, the show kind of like tricked me a little bit because I thought that she got into his head, and so some secretive plan was was going to be executed on his uh, order to take out his brother and his brother's unit and all that oh. stuff. And then it turned out it was the son. I'm like, oh shit. And so that really surprised me. And then it further surprised me when the son slipped. But it's so real. It it's is. Like, it's like, it was so wet out there. The son has never seen battle before. Like naturally, that could easily happen. And he busts his head on the rock. Which he is, hesitated as well. Yeah. Like before he, he did that, it was kind of like this moment of like, oh shit, I'm going to have to kill my uncle. And then he slips and hits his head. And it's like, the most embarrassing, unceremonious way to go. Yeah. Is like, oh, whoops, I slipped and I fell. Yeah. <laughs> like, Absolutely. It's terrible. Yeah. I will say the, the actor who played the, the young boy, he was really, really good because he aggravated the shit out of me. He got emotions in me that I'd like, I didn't like feeling, which is like, I just want to slap this kid so I bad know. and put him in his place. Um, but then in that scene with the dinner, when his dad was like, yo, he fell out of his eightfold fence for a second. He's like, don't, yeah. don't accept that. The boy's perspective on everything changed radically after seeing the true colors of his uncle, right? And then he went from ad admiration and pleasure to anger, like seething rage that he had to hold back on because he wanted to hurt his uncle now. Right. And I thought it was cool to see that transition in his eyes. It almost makes me sad to see him go, but he was a I punk. Know. He was a punk. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah. I, I mean, if it wasn't now, he was probably going to go soon because he's reckless and irresponsible. Yeah. He's not like his father, who even when you look, watched him in the flashbacks, he was just very calm always one one thing that kind of threw me though was when the boy when, when his son slipped and hit his head on the rock i'm like what happened to the other people that were with him because it was, he wasn't alone so, like the uncle was vulnerable swordless he had no weapon on him right right and so someone else nearby could have in in, in in that proximity could have killed him and they just left him alone or, or ran off and did something else. That was very unclear. Yeah, who um, knows? I, it seems like potentially the type of idea that Yabushige's nephew probably would have, considering that he's really close to uh, the courtesan and maybe they came up with a plan to you know, execute this thing. Who knows? It seems like the sort of thing that he, he and she might come up with. More and more, I'm finding that in the show, I'm so fascinated by the women and their stories. I thought that the scene with the elder courtesan was really, really interesting. And all the things that she was saying, my heart really went out to her to kind of be a young woman, to be ambitious and build your future based off of the skills that you have, only to then lose it I guess when you become old, you know, yeah. it's like it, it's not it's not anything that you can control. Mm -hmm. And so you only have that power maybe uh for a, a certain amount of time or that fame for as long as your beauty lasts. And even what Toranaga's brother was saying about beauty, it's like Beauty is fleeting and ephemeral. The way he said it was really poetic. The thing that sticks in my mind is like fucking a sunset right mm -hmm. it's it's vulgar and gross but also perfectly encapsulates that idea of like you can't hold on to it yeah you know i just 
felt my heart going out to this woman who her beauty was her currency and it's no longer there. And she just wants to build a future for herself and women like her. Sure. And so I'm like, yeah, more power to you. Yeah. <laughs> Please make that happen. I wonder what the response is going to be to Blackthorn, you know, for being so disrespectful in that moment. Because he just... He was like, I'll oh, screw all this. You guys are stupid. Yeah. <laughs> He's so frustrated with the situation. But but he has every right to be frustrated as he is because he's promised these things. And it's like these promises seem to keep getting pushed down the road or rescinded. And it's like, yo, like I fulfilled my end of the bargain. You're not fulfilling yours. And you're expecting more and more patience out of me with like no end in sight to this. Right. You know, and then and now you're just going to submit yourself to this. And then half your men got to die. Like, what happens to me? Like, that's, you know, that's, it's, that's a lot to put on him as well. Well, yeah. And I think it's just frustrating to him because he's like, I'm willing to fight. Like, yeah. I'm willing to use the things that I have at my disposal to help you in this fight. At least, like, let us die fighting instead of just surrendering and being like, yeah, okay, I mean, take my head now. He wanted to, like, George Washington, that shit, man. He wanted to <laughs> pop out of the woods and cut them down. While they're busy doing the honorable battle, he wanted to come at them like, like barbarians you know yeah and I, more power to him i was like yo like you got a weapon there you use him you know but uh tornaga is preoccupied with doing things the honorable way and like i guess in his mind his way while it would lead to the deaths of his men it would prevent the deaths of many more yeah ultimately i'm surprised he didn't try to negotiate at all but maybe it was a fruitless thing that I'm, my naive dumb brain is like Ugh. but like his brother said i would like this land you know, this would be kind of cool. And he didn't even try to offer that at all as a negotiating tactic. He's just like, all right, I'll give in. Well, you know? okay. So first of all, the land is already Yabushige's. But then again, it's not like Toranaga hasn't decided to give something that was originally someone else's to someone else. Sure. Like he gave the, the cannon regiment to Yabushige's nephew, right? Yeah. But I guess it's different when it is a piece of land. Maybe not. But also... It's like, come on now, really, really, this sleepy little fishing village is going to be more enticing to your brother than the title of regent. Right. No, you're right. I, like, there's no competition. I guess you're right. That would be a waste of time. Yeah. Both. He for, knows that. Yeah, both for them and for the story. Yeah, I get, you're right. That would be a waste of time. I don't know. I'm just grasping at straws because I'm like, do something. You yeah, know? it's frustrating because like you, you want him to win. You want him to be okay. I mean, we've still got like a fair amount of episodes left. Two, according to that. It, I thought we have 10 in total. I thought two. I thought, I thought 10 as well, but it says episode eight and nine. And that's it. There's no episode 10 in sight here. Okay, well, there's 10 episodes on IMDb, so oh, okay. I don't know. Well, ho well one can hope. Oh, we all know this is, this is moving towards war now. Yeah. So, yeah. It's just, it's just a matter of when and how it's going to happen. I guess he's going to have to wrestle with the notion of, I'm speculating a lot, but he's going to have to wrestle with the notion that it took his son giving his own life in the pursuit of taking out his uncle for him to realize the error of his own ways and what he should have been doing. That's crazy. Yeah, it maybe. Sucks. And we don't know if he has any other children, but it would appear that maybe like that was his sole heir. Mm -hmm. And so now <laughs> he has no son. You know, it was interesting though, because like leading up to the end of the episode, I was like, oh, I guess we're not getting too much action in this one. That's okay. It was interesting nonetheless. And then suddenly like there's this attempted execution, this attempted assassination. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's getting nuts. And then it, and it ends on a bang. I wish that I felt more empathy for the son leading up to that moment, but he was just speaking so obsessively over the romanticization. How do you say that word? Romanticization. The, yeah. Romanticization of war. Uh huh. Like he was so obsessed with it. It was hard for me to feel empathy for him. It's like, I get that he's young, but God dang, like he just wasn't listening to his dad. He he executed those people with the cannons. I'm like, he. it's like he kind of got what was coming to him. Do you think that if he had known the truth about his father's legend, it would have made him think twice about what he did? No. No? No, he's so... He's so, he's so obsessed and gung-ho about this idea. If, if, you t if that was told to him, he'll be like, well, now's our opportunity to correct your legacy. <laughs> like, he'll find a way, you know. Maybe. It's almost like dealing with a conspiracy theorist. But There's like, nothing you can do to, t to, like, educate them out of their conspiracy theory. But could it not have scared him a little bit to be like, oh, shit. Like, my dad was just a kid. He did this thing, but 
it wasn't cool. He's just a guy. His you know, son would he's say, not the legend. His son would still say, well, at least you got to go to battle. At least you got to go to war. Like, he'll still find a way to romanticize it in his brain. Mm. That's, I mean, that's my... Perhaps. This is speculation. Perhaps. Like, that's my assumption about his character based on what we've seen of him throughout sure, the show, you know? Sure, sure. So, anyway, I enjoyed this episode. It was, uh, like, man... <laughs> I feel, the ending like, it's, it's just so frustrating <laughs> and so riveting so you guys thanks so much for hanging I'm Jabby Koi this is Achara Kirk peace out